Welcome to Siri on SAP and Azure. This is a lab on Power BI connecting to SAP HANA. My name is Ross Laforte. I'm an SAP Solution Specialist for Microsoft, and I'm focused on the SAP Data Integration on Azure. Let's start with a quick SAP HANA connector overview. For more detail, watch my Power BI deep dive into SAP connectivity on the SAP and Azure channel on YouTube. The SAP HANA connector is a specialized connector that supports HANA informational models like analytic and calculated views. It also supports direct SQL for row column tables and uh, it has two modes of operation, uh, relational and multidimensional. In relational, it treats SAP HANA as a relational data source a multidimensional, it treats HANA as a multidimensional data source. It has rich support for native SAP HANA concepts like hierarchies, non additive measures, default variables. It enables both import and direct query modes. An import means it's on a scheduled basis. Power BI service submits a query to SAP HANA to refresh the uh, SAP data stored in the Power BI report. In direct query mode means is that the uh, Power BI is connecting directly to um, SAP HANA. And as the user navigates the report, Power BI submits the, the queries in real time to SAP HANA to support the navigation. Also, um, it supports single sign-on through Kerberos and um, SAML, which means is a Power BI user uh, connecting through direct query is able to single sign-on once and the um, credentials are passed all the way down to SAP HANA. And, uh, and the user is only able to visually see what uh, what the uh, what the uh, uh, the data that's the user is able to uh, access in in SAP HANA. It's uh, this uh, uh, ODBC driver is built on top of the SAP HANA uh, ODBC driver. Uh, it's officially supported by uh, SAP and. Um, to connect SAP to uh, HANA to uh, to Power BI through the um, on-premise data gateway, uh, there's a um, some configuration that must be done. But first, let's uh, describe that the on-premise data gateway is a solution that allows multi-users to connect to multiple data sources, and it's used. The same on-premise data, data gate was used by Power BI, Power Apps Flow, and Azure Logic Apps, and, and, and also Azure Now Services. It supports both the direct query and the import mode scheduling for refresh. To install the gateway, uh, the first thing you need to do is you have to get a Windows VM is uh, in the same VNet as where where, at power, uh, where SAP HANA is. Within it, you install the SAP uh, HANA ODBC driver inside the VM, and then you install the on-premise data gateway inside the VM, okay? The installation information are here to install the gateway, and then once you install the gateway, you need to go to the Power BI service and configure that uh, service to connect to the data gateway, which is here. Okay, in order to do this lab, uh, we need to start with the prerequisites, which means is on your laptop, you, you need to install the SAP HANA Client 2.0, which is the uh, HANA ODBC driver, and you download it. There's a link, uh, if you follow this link here, uh, it shows you how, where to download it and how to install it. Okay, with that, we're gonna start the lab. So, 
first thing we do is once once you download the driver you double click on it and and it'll, it'll take you to the uh, to installation okay okay so then you just go source uh, and then uh, run a query to extract some data and build a power bi report so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to SAP uh, here, Power, uh, the Power BI desktop options, and we want to make sure that um, the direct query mode is set up as treat SAP HANA as a relational data source. Uh, this allows uh, the, um, uh, this allow me to submit a <clears throat> SQL query to HANA and uh, to uh, treat it as a row uh, column table source. If I have this unchecked, it treats um, HANA as a multi-dimensional data source. So both options are enabled, disabled from this connection. Okay. Uh, second thing we want to do is we want to go to get data and uh, more and we are going to choose the SAP HANA ODBC driver okay so now we I'm going to put in the uh, IP address for the uh, for the server The port number and the here I have the option of doing import and direct query so I either can import the data into the report on a scheduled basis uh, through the on-premise data gateway or I could do a direct query where I, I submit queries as needed from Power BI so I'm going to use a direct query mode here and I am going to use this query to extract the data from uh, from the HANA data source I'll click OK okay and uh, since I erased saved my credentials uh, into um, into my Power BI service uh, I actually uh, wasn't prompt for it but in your case if your credentials are saved it's going to prompt for um, credentials to log into the SAP HANA uh, database so here that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click um, load data okay okay And let's just rename this to be, make it a little more readable. We just call it sales. Okay, so now we have loaded the data from SAP HANA. And let's just uh, do a couple things to explore and set up uh, and, and show as possible here. Let's just maybe put a, a start with a text file and uh, text uh, box here called Power BI uh, Direct Query. report and that's gonna make this kind of much larger okay let's okay all right so let's make this um, smaller Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start creating a couple of um, uh, um, visualizations. Let's start with uh, tree map, and uh, we will put in uh, 
uh, let's look for first name and last name and possibly let's say the order date here the details okay let's see we did this one we want to put this one here and the first and the last name here okay the order date here and then let's uh, add sales amount Let's just make it kind of smaller here. Okay. So you could see you could manipulate all that information here, group by and so on. Okay. Um, all right. So that's one. Let's uh, let's maybe put in a filter. Uh, let's click on filter, and let's move that filter here, and let's filter by number of cars. And we're going to switch, change it to a list. Okay. And then let's maybe uh, add a table to this and add a, some other thing to another bit of information. And maybe we can just move this here. And we say we want the sales uh, order. Sales amount and uh, sales well so the line is sales amount. Okay. So now we actually create three very simple tables here. I could click in and you would see that I am actually interacting with the report. Okay, this is a simple Power BI direct query report. So now let's say uh, we have created this. It's basically every time I click on it, it really, really uh, goes. It goes right back, queries the uh, HANA database, brings back the data. Now, let's say we want to um, uh, have an import instead of actually directly querying the data. We want to import the data as um, uh, directly inside the report. So I could just actually click here. And say I want to import the data. So now what it's going to do is going to take the data from uh, from SAP HANA and store it part of the report. Uh, so let's let's click on that, and it's going to pull all the table in, all, all that information into the report, and make it part of the report. So both options are possible with uh, doing this the, using this driver. So now you can see the data is actually again pulled in. Okay, we'll wait a few minutes and um, like a minute uh, until the data gets loaded and then we'll just make sure everything's working and that will finalize the lab. Okay, and the other thing we could do is we could go to the um, Power BI and uh, look through the data sets here and we can see all the data lives inside the report. Okay. All right, that concludes this um, Power BI uh, lab.